don't understand why you're mad at me. If anything, I should be mad at you. Introduce you to Miss Pac-Man, you just blow her off. That's gonna be a fun phone call tomorrow. It's gym class all over. You treat me like a F -R fragile flower. And that was a clip from the ABC TV series Speechless, a groundbreaking show with a central character who has cerebral palsy. The Cerebral Palsy Foundation has partnered up with Speechless and after each episode posts a new video on CPF's site explaining various aspects of CP in simple terms. Joining us now to discuss is Richard Ellenson, the CEO of the Cerebral Palsy Foundation. Richard, thank you so much for being with us. Can you tell us a little bit how, about how this partnership came about? Sure, Tanya, and thanks for having me. Great to be here. Um, when we heard the show was going to be on TV, I was asked for a quote from a bunch of places, and I said, how fantastic. We're finally having a show about cerebral palsy, and we're finally doing it in the right way, in a sitcom, because sitcoms bring barriers down. You can talk about things that we don't talk about, just like the Just Say Hi campaign that we had done. Absolutely. And so uh, they read about it, and, and I got reached out to, and they said, hey, would you like to partner? So it's been an amazing relationship. And so now you create these videos yep. that run after each episode. What are the topics you touch on? Sure. So we touch on everything from what is cerebral palsy to how you deal with gross motor function to how you deal with dating when you're a kid with disability. And you know, the guys on Speechless are amazing. You know, Scott Silveri who created it has a brother with CP. Micah Fowler has real cerebral palsy and although he can speak with some difficulty, he's an amazing actor. He's been written up everywhere from People Magazine to Vanity Fair. Amazing. And, and Mini Driver, there are so many moms who have kids with CP who are having what they call their mini moments mm. because it's such a real thing. So as the show begins the conversations about CP, because it has to be a sitcom and entertain, sure. we get to continue the conversations with real information that families need. And what has the response been to your videos? Viewership is amazing, right? Yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, since the show started in late September, we've had almost a million views of our videos. Incredible. Yeah, it's great. And are you also consultants for the show? Yeah, we are. We okay. read the scripts ahead of time. We make sure that, you know, everything is correct. I mean, the, the writers have brothers and sisters and kids with disabilities. And, and what's amazing about the show is they really, although a TV show has to be fun and entertaining, they respect the needs of our community so much that we've been given this amazing opportunity to sort of get our messaging out there for people. And I understand your own son, Thomas, is going to be appearing as a guest star in one of the episodes? Yes, indeed. Um, you know, cerebral palsy, uh, people with CP are the 12th largest city in America, and my son is one of those people. And uh, so he will be appearing in an episode either in late January or in February. And Do we I, know anything about his character? Can you reveal anything? Or um, is it a, a strictly uh, <laughs> held secret? We are technical <laughs> consultants who reach out to the world of cerebral palsy and give people valuable information. Wonderful. Is he very excited about it? Yeah, he, yeah. he is totally thrilled. And um, you know, our website is yourcpf.org. Mm -hmm. And we will certainly be telling everybody in the world that Tom will be on the show. And uh, again, you know, as a part of the show. He's a really pretty spunky character on the show. I am sure. I can't, we can't wait to see him. Now, one of the points that you make in the videos is that there are various levels of affliction of CP, right. correct? And in fact, some of the actors who play uh, c characters afflicted with CP have various levels of it in real life, correct? Yeah, exactly. So there's a thing called the gross motor function classification system that goes from one to five. And that's one of the problems in dealing with CP. I mean, people can be nonverbal and in a wheelchair and cognitively, just like you and I, sure. they can be cognitively affected. They can just walk with a limp or with braces. And because of that, it's been a hard condition to deal with. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, you know, and so often people look to this future that's so elusive and say, one day we'll cure, we'll prevent. But people with CP are fantastic, wonderful individuals. Just the way and they there's are. so yeah. much we can do today to support people with cerebral palsy, beginning by acknowledging their abilities and then providing supports and interventions and physical therapies and better speech devices that allow us to sort of like interact with the world. You know, a lot of people like to say that people with CP don't have the disability society does. Right. Well, you also point out that don't assume because someone has CP that their life is lacking anything. But plenty of people who can walk and do everything else may not have such a happy life, you it, know, so. <laughs> in, in fact, if someone is sitting out there watching the show who doesn't have CP, they're probably sitting in a chair at a desk. And someone watching it who has CP, they're probably doing the exact same thing in 
and right. hopefully enjoy it. Right. So lots of similarities out yes. there. Richard, thank you so much for coming to tell us about this exciting partnership. Thanks and, so very much. And tell your son we can't wait to see him up there on the on the screen. I will do. <laughs> and again, as the CEO of a foundation, I'd like to just say once more, we're doing amazing work. If you would go to yourcpf.org and contribute to this amazing work, you'll learn about us. And it would be a great way to end your holiday season. So let's all make that a resolution. Fantastic. Richard, thanks so thanks much, so Tanya. Much. Great being here. Thank you.